Time for everyone's favorite game show! New plebs try to sell things and stuff all up on the internet. Hello, my name is Timmy Joe, making videos about computers all up on the internet. And today on the program, we're back with a new plebs try to sell PCs and junk on the internet. That's where you guys send me the ads you see all over the internet that are terrible. Used PC parts, noobs trying to sell things they don't know what they're talking about, all that stuff. And I was surprised to go into my email at tjsillyads at gmail.com and still find a bunch of new ones in there. So you guys just keep providing me with content. So let's do one. And if you have... Uh, you know, some pandemic pricing, some ridiculously bad hardware at ridiculous prices, go ahead and send it to that email because I'll just keep doing these because you just, you guys love them. And by the way, we have a sponsor. Cue it up. The Pure Base 500 DX by Be Quiet is optimized for high cooling performance and is designed for those who seek low noise and high airflow all in one budget friendly chassis. The high airflow mesh intake allows the three included Pure Wings 2 140mm fans to silently cool your PC components, while the ARGB light strips at the front and interior of the case give your build that look you've been looking for. More information on the Pure Base 500DX in the description, and thanks to Be Quiet for sponsoring this video. Oh yeah, thanks to Be Quiet for sponsoring it. That's a super sweet case, seriously. Check them out in the description. But today, noob plebs try to sell things in junk on the internet, and we're gonna get right to that. So let's dive right into our first victim. Ah, it's it's so bright. Ugh, why are you why are you taking the photo like that? Ugh. Two video cards, eh? Two video cards. Let's just read them, man. It's just a PC for sale, not the setup. Although the setup. It's just there to show you how cool PC runs. Whatever that means. Uh, $900 firm, if you offer anything else, you won't get a response. <sighs> Particular, aren't you? All the parts and software is $1,500 or more, which is uh, not including a building fee or whatever English you were saying there. Selling my gaming PC to hopefully upgrade. She's a beast, has run everything for me, no problems at all. 32 gigs of DDR4 with a 6700K. Why do you need that much RAM? I don't know. DDR4, why don't you take 16 gigs out of that and sell it or keep it for your new rig, mister? Uh, you got a Gigabyte 1050Ti and a GeForce GTX 1660Ti. Right? One terabyte hard drive, Windows, I play Valorant and Max Graphics, 100 FPS, runs modded Minecraft with shaders and textures, changes in CSGO, they all play great. Let's cycle through some photos here. We got a gigabyte card here. That's probably the 1050 Ti, I would, I would think, because of the age of it. And then, uh, oh yeah, it's four gigahertz, uh, 6700K. Thanks for showing me your Windows information, that's wonderful. Oh. What does this photo have to do with anything? Stardew Valley, that's the setup he has. No picture of the computer to be seen of in this picture. Why you included? I don't know. Uh, there you go, there's your two graphics cards and uh, not particularly certain why they're both in there. Unless you have like a whole lot of displays, it makes no sense whatsoever. And just, what are you doing? What, what are you doing? Like, this PC isn't even that bad. It looks half decent in front of it. I mean, it's got CD-ROM, but whatever. And there's a picture of some RAM. Look at the RAM. Look at the sideways RAM and my bedspread. So this one is just like ridiculous with the two video cards. Take the one video card out, the 1050 Ti, take out 16 gigs of the RAM, buy a solid state drive for it, because guess how much money this guy wants for this thing? $900. Is it worth that? No, it's maybe worth six, $700 without an SSD, the way you have it configured with one of the video cards and the RAM taken out of there. Sell those separately, maybe you'll get close to that money you're looking for, or keep the RAM for your next build. You only need 16 gigs of it for gaming these days, buddy. This isn't a bad PC, take some of the things out, maybe uh, get yourself an SSD, and maybe you'll be happy with the performance on this, because it's gonna be dogging with that one terabyte hard drive. So real doozy of a first one here, a couple things wrong with it, but uh, not like it's the worst one I've ever seen. But I'm sure we'll get there eventually inside this old sack of computer ads I have here. Next one. 
sack of computer ads. $1,600 and it's sold. Water-cooled gaming PC with gaming monitor. Booyah. This is a doozy for sure. This, this, this is what we're talking about, $1,600. So I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but this is an older computer that at the time was probably very, very expensive. So him wanting to sell it for a bunch of money right now, I, I understand where he's coming from because you know the investment that was there, none of this stuff's worth $1,600 or anything close to it. We got a like new i7 gaming PC, spent over 4,000 with this setup. i7 water cooled with best water block, $1,200. Uh, okay, well that's an i7, what, 950 on an X58 chipset? It's not even gonna be six cores, it's gonna be four cores. It's gonna be pretty dogging. You're gonna get like 450 in Cinebench R15. No, it, <laughs> 1200 watt Antec gaming power supply, $750. Maybe at the time, we'll see, this is a pretty ball and power supply for like 10 years ago. EVGA X58 classified motherboard with water cooled from factory. Uh, what does that mean, water cooled from factory? Did Is the motherboard water cooled? Because you should show that, that would be cool. This looks like some serious stuff though. And uh, to creme de la creme, XFX four gigabyte HD 6990 with lifetime warranty. So let's get into this picture styles. It's a pretty cool old Cooler Master case, but I mean, do cases look like this these days? Not really. It's got lots of weird drive enclosures down here. I, I kind of dig this case. I'd like to have a look at it. It's got definitely got a rad in there, uh, but uh, is the graphics card water cooled? I don't think so. Look at that smoky skull $100 bill look. Man, I'd like to get that tattooed on my back. <laughs> There's his monitor. Ooh, it's a Samsung gaming monitor. What are those gaming specs? High refresh rate? Probably not. I uh, kept all the cables for the Antec power supply. Great for you. There's the box for the XFX. He didn't even put that uh, door hanger to tell mom that I'm gaming. I'm gaming. Do not disturb. I'm gaming. Didn't even put that on his, uh, his door. We've got open boxes. Crazy motherboard for sure. But by today's standards, I don't know, maybe the right person would want to buy this build. Is it built by somebody like really cool? Look, it's got some weird fan knobs on the back of the power supply. There's the back of that. Uh, you know, at first I thought maybe this was like a dual CPU system, but it's not. It's a pretty crazy uh, Antec power supply for 10 years ago. It's got its own case, CSX division of Cooler Master. So this must be some sort of a I don't know, specialized Cooler Master custom build, and he probably paid a butt ton of money for it. Is that a little tray that houses like hardware for the hard drives and stuff? That's pretty cool, but this guy's on super glue if he thinks that uh, he's gonna be getting $1,600 for that. System is overclocked to 3.8 gigahertz. I don't know, I've overclocked uh, X58 i7s to 4.5 gigahertz before, but that's just me. You know, just a measly 700 megahertz over what you're claiming. System's a little older, but kills any newer model with high benchmark results. No, it does not. No, it does not. We're moving on because, uh, yeah, before I go ahead and get that tattooed on the back of my back, <laughs> moving on. CPU motherboard RAM combo, AMD FX 8350 Asus Crosshair Formula V, it's $900 or $390, $390 in Seattle. And uh, it's got an 8350 8-core. Is, is this worth $390, even if it's like all together here? No. FX systems, you can't even sell them loaded with mother, you know, with uh, RAM and everything, mismatched RAM. For, for like, you just can't considering you could probably get a Ryzen, you know, system together for like $250, including RAM. $390 for an FX system, even if it's the best motherboard out there. And then there are some issues with this. So there's a sound card included for a reason. The sound doesn't work on this motherboard. Also, what is with that 5212 Evo? What is with that Hyper 212 Evo? What is with it? It looks like acid fell on it. It looks like it was burned in a fire. Why are you showing me a picture of that? That totally ruins any credibility you have showing that in the ad. Get rid of that thing, it doesn't make sense. So there's some hard drives, there's some pictures of whatever, but yeah. He says uh, the Asus motherboard is the most high-end AM3 board on the market. No it's not, because there's no AM3 motherboards on the market anymore, dumbass. I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know. It, it just killed me that he's like, so much wrong with this, but yet he wants almost $400 USD for it. Not cool, man. And please, throw that out. <sighs> Next one. Booyah. This is a gaming setup, 300 FPS. 300 FPS. $1,350. 300 FPS. No context. Maybe we'll check out the pictures for some context. Well, we got a RGB keyboard. We got a Logitech mouse. We got a Wraith Stealth cooler. So you're definitely rocking what? 2200G, maybe, uh, you know, uh, maybe a 1600, maybe. Doubtful though. So, you know, $1,350 is really going to be worth it for this. But uh, there's a dark picture of an MSI graphics card. But let's go down and check the spec. No, gaming setup, 300 FPS, most games. Maybe if you averaged it out on all the games ever of all time, starting from the 80s, you could get 300 FPS on average in most games. You just have to average it across four decades. Uh, gaming setup, 300 FPS, local pickup only, only email if it's an offer. It comes with the PC mouse, keyboard, and headset. No information, but if you email him not to make an offer, but to ask what the specs are, you won't get a response. So yeah, that's uh, that's on glue. It doesn't even look like that bad a PC. Just, just put the specs. Put the specs. $1,350. <sighs> Crazy. So here's one. It's a crucial SSD. I mean, that build uh, a few of them ago, uh, this one, it needed one, so maybe he should buy it for this. And the best part about that SSD is plug and play. It's just simply replace the new drive in your machine. You'll be up and running with minutes in minutes because it comes with Windows 10 Pro installed. It's $112. How much do you think that SSD, which is an older model, by the way, might be worth new? $86.99. Now, granted, it doesn't have Windows pre-installed on it, but that doesn't mean any thing. It doesn't, because as soon as you put it in it, whatever license you had for Windows goes as soon as it sees a different motherboard. So I just thought this was hilarious. The guy's trying to like sell some, just install Windows 10 and just put it in your computer and it'll work. You can't, you can't resell it for more money than it's worth just because you put Windows 10 off of the Microsoft store on it. Makes no sense. It makes no sense. Moving on. Ooh, look at this. It's like a stormtrooper. I like it. It's a stormtrooper case. It's got a little baby window on the side, but still got that graphics card intake for your blower fan. That's cool. It's got a nice backside. It's black. It's got nice blue LEDs in there. There's a little goober on the side of the case, but don't you worry about it. It's just a goober. Here's some fans. Maybe a little bit of a dog nose. Just a tiny dog nose. So what is this computer? It's a uh, Windows 10 64-bit home. It's an i5-4670. It's a Z87 motherboard, 16 gigs of RAM, and a GTX 962 gigabyte super clock. You might want to ask $950 for this. $950 for this computer. But the best part ever is that the CD-ROM, it still opens. And you're wondering, does it close? Oh, it closes. Open, close. Oh, oh, ew. What is, why are you got your feet in there? Why are you showing me your feet? Ugh. It's like, here's the computer feet. Here's my gross feet. Why? I'm just gonna puke. I, I gotta turn it off. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, and I, it's making me even sicker looking at his cable management. Oh, so, oh, so he's got, so, some form of cable man is, oh, what is going on? I'm getting motion sick now. I'm just getting all kinds of sick with this one. Feet, motion sick, spaghetti cable management. What is, what, oh, there's the cable management. So would you trust buying a computer from a guy that that's the internals of the computer? Is, is that? Or maybe takes photos like that, or maybe has feet? I have to stop looking at it. It's not worth $950. Shit, move it on. Oh, now I'm gonna puke for a different reason. Rainbows. Um, <laughs> $2,800. Ultra powerful gaming PC VR ready. $2,800. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten RGB fans. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually 
I don't know. It's a Lee and Lee case, I think. That's pretty. It's a nice computer, probably. I don't know, but too much. So, uh, twenty eight hundred dollars. Let's break down the specs for you. Ryzen five thirty six hundred. Not even an X. Three sixty triple fan CPU water cooling. I'm not going to tell you which one, but looks like it might be uh, Gamdias or something. I can't tell from the. Is there another picture? Oh, there's another picture. Just a smaller resolution screenshot of the same picture. Like, why do you even include that? <laughs> oh, it can turn red, just in case you're mad for some reason. That's great. And then front on screenshot, and then that's it. So, <laughs> $2,800, man. Uh, it's got a, a gigabyte triple fan RX 5700 XTA gigabyte GPU. Better than a... RTX 2070 Super in Call of Duty and the same performance in other games. You, wow, you're really selling me on it, buddy. Uh, dual channel, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 1200 watt power supply, Samsung 250 gig SSD, Seagate, two terabyte hard drive, ASRock B450M, $2,800, B450 motherboard. Oh my God, is there even, oh, Windows is activated, TP-Link wireless adapter, is there even the monitors included with it? Yes, it's available. Nope, no monitors included, $2,800. The computer is literally worth half of that. Literally worth half of what he's asking. Oh, and I feel like RGB puke and all over again. At least it's better than the feet. That's right, I showed the feet again. Moving on from RGB, man. Purple fluid, do you think $2,800 is a lot for a computer? Well, I got a godlike motherboard here for you. <laughs> So there's this computer, $3,000. George wants to sell it. The motherboard's worth more than the whole damn computer. It's got an eight core Ryzen 16 thread processor, 1000 gigabytes of memory, an EVGA GeForce RTX 2070 Super graphics card, liquid super cooled custom gaming PC, eight fans, glass shell. That's just wonderful. It's great. So cycle through some photos here. He doesn't give a damn about cleaning up the dust for you. You're going to clean up the dust when you buy this computer for $3,000. And then it's like, what? Ryzen. AMD Ryzen 7 3. 3.6 gig. I really need to see that. Take a picture of the pixels of your damn monitor and Put that on your ad. That's all for photos too. So yeah, it's got purple fluid. I wouldn't trust this worth the dickens. There's no way. And yeah, it's got an expensive motherboard, but that does not mean that it's worth $3,000, George. You're on super glue. I, I don't know, these are driving me nuts. I don't even have anything else to say about this. <sighs> Thousand gigabytes of memory. <laughs> Moving on. Check this thing out. This is the last one for today. And although it is still way too expensive, it's pretty damn cool. And I could kind of see where he's coming from. So this is the ultimate LAN party computer. It's built in a Pelican case and it's ready to pick up and go. Okay, that's pretty cool. It even has a little remote there for your DVD or whatever the hell's going on. Probably for some RGB lights or something. You can hide your Xbox Minecraft controller inside the fan doohickey. Huh? See an Xbox logo down there too. What's going on with that? So uh, he's a pretty cool computer, right? It's built fairly well. Looks like it's fairly well executed. That ViewSonic monitor fits in there perfectly. And uh, I like that this like props up and it looks like he's holding it open with a knife. So maybe that needs to be addressed, but it's got some cooling that goes in there. It doesn't really, it looks like those are exhausting. So yeah, this is intaking. That's, yeah, this, this will actually work. Did the power supply's not getting any air though. So I'm wondering about that. It's a Seasonic, so it'll probably be okay. But what's the specs on it? CPU, 2600X, 60 gigs of 3200 megahertz RAM, an 800 watt Silverstone power supply, and a GTX 1060. He's an experienced PC builder. This is not just a thrown together build. The worst part is my cutouts in the acrylic. Turns out I'm just not that good at working it. So what he's saying is, please pay me $2,000 for my shoddy works machine. <laughs> it's a cool computer, buddy, but I mean, it's, it's, it's worth $800. It's not worth $2,000. Even if that Pelican case and all the work you put into it, if you want to resell this, you're not going to get away with it for $2,000. There's just no way. 
as cool as the computer is. There's just no way. So I'll give you props. It turns it looks like you've, you've had this on the market for about two weeks. Might be time to bring the price down. But all in all, it's a pretty cool build, and uh, I would like to do something similar. It's it's fairly well done, and I'll give you a thumbs up. Just change your price because you don't want to end up like some of these other fools, three thousand dollars for a Ryzen twenty six hundred or whatever. So, thank three six hundred. So thank you, sir. That's about it for today. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. It's been a blasty blast, and uh, yeah, we got through this, and I want to keep doing these. So send me the pandemic pricing. Send me the craziest prices, the weirdest hardware the stupidest ads, the plebs out there, tjsillyads at gmail.com. I want to receive them. I'll keep doing these. They're a lot of fun and they're, you know, a quick video to throw together. Thank you to Be Quiet for sponsoring the video. They're going to sponsor some stuff on the channel and that that Pure Base is actually a really, really, really cool case. Like it's, I enjoyed building in it. So links are in the description. Throw some Amazon stuff if it's available on there. But uh, thanks to Be Quiet. Thanks to you guys. Send me your ads and, uh, if you are listing stuff on the internet, do your research, don't show your feet, and please, please avoid the RGB puke, or I, I'm gonna get sick. I'll, I'll see you guys later, I don't know. Thank you for watching.